Hello, welcome back. Tender turkey. And I just seen the adjective tender because that is the key word. And this one is fantastically delicious. And I know because I just finished it, it's very tender, it's juicy. I might even call the title tender or juicy, which one? I don't know yet. I'm thinking about that, but I will know this. I'm going to share my technique with you. So when you cook that turkey and you marinate, because I'm going to show you that too, the flavors are amazing. I also prepare a special stuffing, but I have a different video for that, which I'm going to link to this video so you can find how I made that stuffing from my grandmother born in 1914. So, if you like my content, or if you agree with the way I approach the kitchen, my techniques, my philosophy, that cooking is about all five senses, it's an art, and it's a lifestyle, feel free and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe if you want to. That's up to you. But like and comment because at least that gave me a sense of what you're thinking. And I will always reply whether it's a positive or a negative. I will always treat you with respect and your opinion with respect. I can also learn something. So, go nowhere. Let's have some fun. Let's create. So here's the ingredients I'm going to use to marinate the turkey. Um, I have some turmeric, salt, oregano, pepper, and several teeth of garlic, which I means this together is my homemade adobo. I also have some rosemary, thyme for aromatics, and some sage, and I'm going to, uh, you know, kind of smash it a little bit just to get the juices. You know, I'm going to, you know, smash it a little bit just to get the juices flowing and the these nice smell and aromatics into the turkey. And here's the breast. I decided to go with a breast because I'm really not going to cook a big turkey, so I don't need the legs or anything like that. One thing you might want to do is you grab a knife and you cut through the skin. And I did that already. So you can pull it back. And I might need to cut a little bit more here. And the reason you pull it back is because you want to put some of the uh, ingredients there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stab it a tiny bit. And actually, what I'm doing, I'm poking. I'm not really stabbing big time. Because I want the flavors to go through the meat. Already, let me pull more of the skin. Just a little pokes. And then, I'm going to mix this up and using a little brush. To start creating that adobo. And I might have to use a little bit more salt. But you use the amount that you feel is necessary for your taste. And I'm also going to you add some of the garlic. So everything mixed together. Some of the garlic, I didn't use all. See? And now that everything is mixed, you start rubbing, right? And 
side is came through here. If these are legs, you do the same with the legs and the wing. Just wrap. And I flip the turkey and you do the same on this side. A little bit stabbing. And more rubbing. You want that skin to taste good. Once you complete the rubbing, you put some sage. I mean, so time around for the aromatics. Put it here for now. Some of the sage, I squash it a little bit, but not a lot, just enough to get the juices flowing. Just putting it around. Now. And then you grab an aluminum foil, you cover it, and then you put it in the refrigerator overnight. And this is how it looks, this cover is going to the refrigerator. And one of the reasons I cover and trying to be um, covered well is to get the aromatic to stick within the turkey so it smells good. So it's been about 12 hours. I took this out refrigerator, left it outside for about 45 minutes. I'm taking some of this stuff out. I might leave the rosemary on the side though. But I'm taking, because I don't want to, it was, this was just done for aromatic purposes. I might leave a couple of Rosemary leaf here. See how beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some of this stuffing which I made. And you add it to the turkey. Because you're going to cook the turkey with some of the stuffing on, stuffing on it. Not all, but some. So the flavors start mixing up, and this one will taste very good, by the way, this portion. And you push it down there hard. Not too hard, but you know, put some pressure on it. If you want to add some of the uh, liquid portion, Grab a little spoon and do so. See? But before I put this in the oven, I have some butter, room temperature. I mix it up with some thyme. I even put a little bit of saffron too. You don't have to. A little bit of garlic. But you don't have to. You can put just plain butter. And what I'm doing is, I'm putting a little bit around. Because I want my stuff to be tender. And this butter stuff, you got, it's going to be your friend during the cooking process. open this and put some inside the skin. See, I'm putting some. In the meantime, I have my oven at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. You can put it at 350, you can put it at 325. I'm going with 340. 
the thing about the turkey is that you have to make sure it's cooked, but you don't want to overcook it. And there are different ways of doing that, and I'm going to go with the thermometer way, cheap thermometer. Trying to keep it maybe at 160 degrees internal temperature. Before I put it in the oven, I'm going to cover it. Doesn't have to be super, super tight or anything. I just cover it enough so it cooks inside and the juices remain there so it stays tender. But it's not going to be cooked like that for the entire process. And now it's time to put the turkey in the oven. been 30 minutes and the internal temperature is 297 but the 152 doesn't mean that's cooked. I put in 152 for a baseline that way when if you reach that uh, temperature I want to uncover so I can continue cooking uncover. I mean it's cooked when it reached the 160s or maybe 170 but not at 152 that's not a cooked turkey. It's just I want to reach that temperature so I can do the, without the uh, cover. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put another 30 minutes. I mean, this is a six pounder, so it's going to take about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. But I put another 30 minutes and I'm going to take a break. It's been 60 minutes. I'm going to add, and because it's still 119, I'm going to add another 30 minutes and I'm going to continue uh, leaving the thing cover for those 30 minutes. So it's been another 30 minutes for a total of 90 minutes. It's getting close to my baseline. I'm, I'm going to uncover it now. I'm going to do uh, the next uh, step of the process and the cooking is, is temperature is high enough for me to continue with the next step. Six pounds, it's been an hour and a half, I would say maybe another 30 minutes, an hour maybe. I need to get it to 160 or so because I want to make sure it's cooked internally to avoid any potential for, of. Um, you know, parasites or whatever. You know, it'll happen when the f poultry is raw. So let's start uncovering. And I'm going to use my butter mix. I left out the refrigerator so it softened quite a bit. And I'm going to start putting it around the turkey. So I'm on top of the stuffing. See this how it looks. See how it's melting. I'm doing this because I want this baby tender and juicy. And I'm going to do this about every 10 to 15 minutes until it's fully cooked. So it's been about two hours and 15 minutes, reached 161 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, close to the 165 goal. So that's good enough for me. Yeah, let me get this thing out here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get it out, I'm going to put it to rest. So look at this beauty. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let it rest as I stated earlier for 15 or 20 minutes. And that allows the temperature to rest a little bit more. So I'm going to cover it a little bit. Not fully, just enough so the heat stays in close 
and it doesn't go to the air temperature so the heat stays within the turkey. It doesn't have to be perfect. 15 to 20 minutes. See how tender and beautiful. Mission accomplished, huh? In the outside it was looking toasty and dark, but when you move stuff around, it shows you how it looks. It's cooked nicely. See? Beautiful.